All right, 734. Welcome to the CBSN Minnesota Morning Update. I'm Jason DeRush. I hope you had a good weekend. So nice on Saturday. A little windy yesterday, wasn't it? Now we've got the snow coming our way. Let's show you what's going on in Colorado. Yeah, the, boy, they got hammered with snow, didn't they? Record snow in parts of Colorado, Nebraska, and Wyoming. Uh, this is Interstate 70 where you can, well, you can't see, right? Near whiteout conditions there. Lots of drivers stranded. Of course, the airport closed in Denver, uh, canceling hundreds of flights. And so this is the storm system that's headed towards us. So let's show you our forecast for today. Snow, snow, and uh, a little more snow. That's it. There it is. I just figure I'll show you kind of the satellite radar. You get the picture here. Right now it's entering the South Metro. So Owatonna, Faribault, it's headed towards Lakeville. Uh, and then throughout the day, we'll kind of get it. So we're waiting for it here. Uh, the forecast from Riley, you know, it really varies depending on where you live. Uh, north of kind of the 94 diagonal. You can see this thing is moving a little more out to the west, but north of that diagonal, maybe only an inch or two uh, south could be more. So be ready. Uh, the good news, how lazy are you, right? Do you want to just let it melt? You can wait till tomorrow. Are you concerned about having your driveway clear? This is what we should have asked people. That's a, a great question for Monday. How lazy are you? Kind of an evergreen topic for this show, I suppose. Uh, let's talk about March Madness. I love college basketball. I love March Madness. There's something very pure about that age, that moment. The one shining moment always gets you. Uh, the Gophers, <laughs> boo, just missed it. I was waiting. Are you going to let in the Gophers? My Marquette Golden Eagles, a big fat no as well. So my alumni friends are also calling for our coach to be fired, but looking at a massive payout and thinking like, well, maybe you just suck it up. Here are your number one seeds. Uh, no disagreement that I've seen here. Gonzaga undefeated. Kind of the obvious pick to go all the way. Illinois, really, uh, they've been phenomenal. The Big Ten with Illinois and Michigan, your top seeds, and then Baylor, number one. So uh, COVID makes this different, right? The whole tournament's going to be in Indianapolis. So that's part of why the seeding is better, I guess. One, you know, a lot of us like to look at the seeds and say, like, well, this is ridiculous. Why is this school a six instead of a ten? And sometimes it has to do with geography and trying to get to the the game sites with all of the games in Indianapolis, the, the seating is a little more logical, I think. Uh, and COVID could change things as well. There are four alternate teams that will jump into action if they can't play. So here's what we want to know from you. How do you fill out your bracket? Most of us fill out a bracket and most of us don't know about all of these teams. So I some, there are some stats I look at to guide me. What do you look at? Is it team colors? Is it mascots? Is it just cities you'd like to visit? So tell me how you do it, uh, and we will share. I know, don't give away all your strategy. I don't want to give everything away. Then you guys are going to win it. Uh, I will share some of your strategy and strategery coming up. And don't forget, if you go to WCCO.com, we have the bracket challenge on there, so you can compete against some of the uh, brain wizards here at CCO. Uh, COVID restrictions are dialing back. Minnesota taking a big step forward toward reopening today. I don't know how big of a difference the restaurant and bar thing will be. You can now go to 75%. Uh, it's not like you can just suddenly jam in more tables, though, and still be six feet apart. So we'll see. F groups of four can sit at the bar together now. So that'll make a difference for a lot of a lot of bars for sure. Um, you can, I mean, you can do whatever you want in your house, right? But a lot of us have been looking to the government for their uh, suggestions. And now the government is, uh, the governor is saying, yep, you can have 15 people in your house. Uh, doesn't matter from how many households. So if you have four different, you know, groups of in-laws or whatever, you know, you, you can have your brother and your brother-in-law, you can have them over. 50 outdoors. And then, uh, you know, some of the businesses we talked to say this is going to be a little bit of a challenge. 
at seven and a half people, you might as well be at 10. You know, and, and it's not, restaurants are not always at 100% capacity. There's two hours on Friday and two hours on Saturday when you're at 100% capacity anyway. The rest of the week, restaurants run 50 to 60% to capacity. So that's Alejandro. He's the open. Uh, he's the owner of Nico's Tacos in Uptown and in St. Paul. So uh, we'll see. I mean, it's better than nothing for a lot of these businesses. Um, and we'll see. I guess we'll wait for you to tell us, like, how much are they jamming people in? We know that events are going to start happening in April. Professional sports teams will start welcoming fans back to game. The Twins will get about 10,000 on opening day. Minnesota United, somewhere between four and 5,000 fans in their facility. What about live music, right? We're wondering, is that going to resume? And yes, there can be more events uh, at entertainment uh, venues. They can go to 50%. Uh, some are doing it. The X is getting ready for when they can get back to business. They shared this video with uh, some of their practices. They've got these self-cleaning surfaces over door handles, UV lights on escalators. Some local artists are saying, look, you know, we're really excited about outdoor concert season this summer. It looks like we're going to be ready to go, and especially for a big outdoor concert at Canterbury Park, there's so much room for people to move. We're going to see a level of happiness and celebration and togetherness that we haven't seen in a very long time. That's Chris Hockey, uh, Twin City Summer Jam, the big outdoor concert. He helps run, and he's a performer as well. Uh, many concerts that were canceled over the last 12 months have been rescheduled. First Avenue still pushing the state to pass more targeted relief for the entertainment industry to help make up for all the lost revenue. Watching for big developments today in the Derek Chauvin murder trial. Jury selection will get back underway this morning. But uh, in about 20 minutes, we're going to see what happens with the motions. Will the defense file for a mistrial because of the news that broke on Friday uh, that the city of Minneapolis had a massive settlement with George Floyd's family. Does this affect the jurors? Have the jurors heard about it? Have potential jurors heard about it? Attorneys do need to pick 14 people. 12 will be the main jury. Two will be alternates. So we'll be watching for this uh, discussion about that $27 million settlement. Motions will start at 8. Facebook wants to use its unrivaled reach to help get more people vaccinated against COVID-19. This morning, Facebook launched a new campaign. Uh, to help users learn real, valid information about the vaccines. So there's info about eligibility, how you can register, and this will show up right in your news feed. All right, women, it was ladies' night at the Grammys, that's for sure. Women swept the major categories last night. Taylor Swift, as many people expected, took the top prize for uh, Album of the Year for Folklore. She's the first a woman to win that award three times. Beyonce also with a big night. She won four Grammys. She has 28. She is the most decorated woman in Grammy history. Among them, she won Best R&B Performance for her terrific album, Black Parade. Her won Song of the Year, I Can't Breathe. That's a good song. Billie Eilish's uh, song, uh, Everything I Wanted, won Record of the Year. Uh, she said she thought Megan the Stallion deserved that honor. Uh, she, Megan the Stallion did fine. She won three awards, including best new, uh, best new artist. Women have won all uh, top four awards in the past. This has happened before. Billie Eilish swept the whole thing last year, but this is the first time four separate women and solo, not part of a group, uh, got the top honors. So pretty cool. Oscar nominations are being announced right now. Uh, you know they're weren't that many movies released over the last year. So I think the Oscars are going to be an absolute bore uh, because it's just these it's some streaming movies that came out. Nomadland, Trial of the Chicago 7, that was a good movie. Minari, expected, uh, they're all in the list. Academy Awards have been pushed back from February to April 25th. Does anyone care? Gerald says no. I don't think anyone's going to care, right? I feel bad for, well, no, I don't. These people are fine. Does that, do we need to feel? I can feel bad for plenty of other people. I rescind my comment. I do not feel bad for the movie industry. Okay. That's, I mean, my, even my compassion has limits, and that's where we draw the line. Uh, let's talk about bracketology. Let's, let's, let's uh, play that music. Katie, no strategy. 
Uh, she doesn't really follow it. Wow. No brackets! <laughs> Katie, no brackets. You don't follow it unless a friend or family member is playing? Does that mean, like, if they're playing in the tournament or if they're playing <laughs> playing in the bracket? Mary, boo-hoo, gophers. Yeah. What do you do? Do you fire uh, Richard Patino? I don't know. Are they going to get somebody better? That's the problem, right? If you want to hire someone good, you got to pay at least $2 million. I know, but that's what the, that's what you have to pay. Becca, I pick my bracket based on how fun it is to say the names. That's a good approach. Gonzaga! There's your champion for you, Becca. All right, well, good luck to everybody. I think you guys didn't really care about this question, right? Is that right? Is that what I'm getting? It's fine. You know, it's Monday. Maybe, maybe you didn't change your clock. It's, it is 7.44 right now. It's not 6.44. Go change the microwave, and we'll be back here at this same time tomorrow.